Can you say hard hats, folks? Hard hats, lunch pails, steel to boots? Anything short of a championship this year is a failure. Look real. at this boomer right here. You've just got so much talent here. Somebody said we need to apologize for Jalen. Can I pull the John? What are we apologizing for? What do we say? What do we do? <laughs> The other uh, stuff here we wanted to talk about was uh, Derek White. Uh, crazy that this happened here. Um, we were talking about it, whether he would take it. It's $31 million. I thought it, you know, as his agent, I would have advised him not to, but I thought he might, and he did. So what was your reaction, Bobby? Thrilled. How can he not be? This is a monumental break for the Celtics here that they don't have to go through free agency with them, that they don't have to potentially incredible deal here, yeah. and that they keep them at this price, which seemed borderline unthinkable after what he's produced over the last two years. And we threw out those scenarios, John, where he just wants to stay in Boston. Or he wants to give the team a break to keep everybody around, or he just wants this kind of security, whatever reason it was, uh, he just went ahead and did it. And that, seems rare in the league now especially when you look at what some of these other guys are signing for it's all upward of 200 million for guys in this class and you're keeping him for 60 70 80 million less than that there's a scenario obviously here where he pushed it up to 175 and you just can't do it and he would have been the first guy to break off from this group here and he, I think, is the most important outside of Brown and Tatum uh, to keep with this group because he's the connector. He's the glue guy. He's the one that can do the most array of things on this roster outside of those two guys. And when he's, he's also out, a little younger, it's about the biggest young, loss. A little younger than the other three core guys. Um, he's about to turn 30 as opposed to Holiday, who's going to be 34 next season. I mean, Porzingis is at that age too, but you've got the injury risk and obviously Al Horford. So you're locking him up here for prime prime years um, of his career um, as he's really kind of come into his own and entered his prime here. You're getting, you know, top level Derek White, which is amazing. Yes. And as I look at it here for the 2026 cap, that's a eighth guy added to the mix, depending on what this K to deal ends up being. Uh, but it's going to be Tatum at like 54. It's going to be Brown at 53, Holiday at 32, Porzingis 30, and White about 28 in the first year of his extension with Pritchard at seven. So uh, you throw Hauser into that mix at 10 ish with a repeater tax set to begin that year. And you're talking 220 ish million in salary uh, just between those eight guys and 200 in tax with the repeater. So that's where you hit that massive tax wall uh, if you're this team here. And uh, it's going to, I think, make that housing negotiation a little bit more complicated. But as we talked about, John, their strategy seems to be keep all these guys under contract have the flexibility to move them, don't lose them for nothing, and figure it out in a year or two here. So I think that's pretty prudent. I think that makes a lot of sense. And I think it's the best way to keep the team sustainable into the future. But uh, this is why we're selling the team here, the cost of the roster is astronomical you know and every dollar is basically like seven dollars now which is just crazy you know like yeah. it's just I mean, it's so expensive right now um so yeah but it's 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 pretty incredible that they're able to do this because again i mean it's not just yeah something's gonna have to happen but i mean how many teams right now are scrambling to try to lock in some long-term assets here um to be able to compete with the Celtics who ran way ahead of the pack here, made their two trades, extended both guys. And now you've got your core five members locked up. Um, you know, once you, once you sign the Tatum extension, which yeah, it's expensive as hell. And that second apron is going to be really hard to team build, but you want a number put, on what, what it costs. It's 400 million, right? 483 million, 483. Yeah, just off what they have right now for 26. 483 for next year? For 26, yeah. For 26. Okay, right, we're still so not in two there. Two years. Yet. 
when Tatum when the Tatum extension kicks in. Yeah, the this year is going to be. Season. This year is going to be like two seventy. But just think of that going from non repeater to repeater with a couple extensions. Obviously, Tatum is the big one there. Two his. trade deadlines ago, Wick was trying to stay under a line to get that kickback right. For every team yeah. that didn't go over it, you got the $10 million kickback. And that's what right. he was doing. We're scraping bottom of the barrel here to get a refund, um, you know, a rebate um from you know from 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 the NBA for 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 being under that. But now exactly 400 million plus, that's insane. So yeah, you're dropping that on somebody else, um, which is crazy, but that's gonna happen. That's and what's think- gonna happen is it's you're talking about yeah exactly a payroll that's going to exceed you know 200 something million but you're going to pay almost twice that in the tax which is bananas go to the game time app and create an account today our official ticket marketplace uh, where you're going to get the best deals and some of the best deals are right up until or even after game time uh, create an account use the code clns Again, CLNS for $20 off your first purchase over there. Terms apply. You got baseball going on, of course, WNBA. You want to go see a game down in Connecticut or concerts and events. I used it on Hiatus Coyote over the weekend. Uh, so I got a great deal over there and you can too. And if you use the code CLNS, you get $20 off your first purchase, of course. Terms apply. So I would have to think at that point you're probably either going to look to move Porzingis as an expiring at that point or let that expire when it happens after that season. And potentially, obviously, it's going to depend on the value of all these guys. But if Holiday's still a valuable piece at that point who can really bolster another team, you just try to sell high on all of that money and try to take as little money back for that as possible. And, you know, is that picks at that point or young players who don't make much money? I think that's going to be the way you try to navigate this. And Brown, Tatum, and White here to bargain contract effectively, I think are going to be the core guys into the future uh, who stick around here. But who knows? You know, maybe something changes and it's going to take one of those core guys to be able to make this more sustainable. There's a lot that can happen. But what's clear is that $480 million, depending on what the ownership situation is at that point. That should, I, even even Warriors owner, Lakeup, with all those revenue streams, and Balmer with the Clippers and uh, the Nets ownership group there, they didn't want to keep paying that kind of money. So certainly, given the revenue lim- limitations of the Celtics team, they're not going to want to pay that money. For very long, anyway. Maybe you do it for that one year in 26 if you're trying to repeat. Uh, but there's going to be some off ramps. And to me, John, you keep Tatum and Brown at all costs, and everyone else is going to be on the table in terms of reducing costs at that point. Uh, I mean, it's very possible, uh, and it's very possible. And honestly, I think it's 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 likely that your core is Tatum, White, and Brown. Um, and that, you know, Holiday and Porzingis, as they get later into those deals, you're going to try to move and you're going to take the losses. Um, that makes most sense. But also you're going to get less return. So you'll be taking on bad. bad you're either going to trade an expiring or you're going to trade someone to a contender and take a step backwards while you are still contending. It's hard to get off those deals if they're still playing at a decent level and you're competitive because you're not going to sell now. But realistically if you want to sell high or get any return you have to trade them when they're playing well to someone who needs somebody like that make yourself worse make them better for future financial relief so it's not a fun problem uh to have in that regard to me in this porzingis injury i know everyone's looking at and saying oh i'll be back it's fine whatever you have a limited time with this core together all these pieces together where they're playing at the top of their games and for him to be hampered to this extent by that injury into year one of his extension, you only have two years with him here on this extension. Is most of this year, year one out of two, going to be spent rehabbing and recovering and managing, returning from that injury? That's not great. And so that's why I looked at that injury and was like, this is this is really bad. Uh, beyond the fact that it's just a greater difficulty for this team trying to repeat. So that's a killer there that, you know, you invest in these six guys and one of them already is hurt to the extent that he is through two years. You got your championship, obviously, and he played a part in that. 
Uh, but it stinks because you want him out there. You just want him out there. That's that's all it's about. And he's not going to be out there for a big part of next season, which is a killer. But this deal with White, you should be doing backflips down the street about that. That is outstanding. I mean, again, you're seeing the role player money being given around, and 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 you know, you're going to tell me oh, you want to make arguments for Bridges. Yeah, you know, um, there's some things that Bridges can do that White can't, but there's certainly plenty of things uh, White does that Bridges doesn't, and he's also just one of the most complete basketball players in the NBA in terms of, you know, him being next to perfect uh, and almost always doing the right thing uh, and playing, you know, on both ends the way that he does. He's he's just you know, he's just been such a gem for them um, in terms of value to, to the franchise and to this team and to this group of players. I mean, white is just pivotal. So um, I, I, this is an incredible deal for the Celtics here. Um, and, and it's also just amazing as, uh, as we, you know, as uh, you know, as we looked at, you know, what they have coming back, it's all of it. It's all of it. Like the whole team is coming back here. 